Hello, just Sensei Dervish here. Um, I wanted to put a little video out there for some of the students that are currently in our black belt preparation program. Um, I want to just go over Penang Godan in this quick video. I know a few of the students needed a little bit of brushing up more on this Penang Kata, so I just wanted to create a quick video for you. Just go over Penang Godan and hopefully it'll help you along your black belt journey. So let's start. So as always with all the Kata, especially Penang Kata, hands by your side, feet together, us, nice and simple, basic stuff there for you. Good um, fingertip position, good V shape there with your feet, and then Pinan Godan Sente. So, Pinan Godan Sente, wait two or three seconds there. Step forward into Yoi. Now, like all of your Pinan Katas, look towards your left, good cat stance inside block one, punch two, slide up. And again, what your senses are really looking for is. You've got stance on the next move. So inside block one, punch two, slide up. This is where some students get a little bit confused between Godan and Yondan. We need to step forward with our right arm and right leg. Throw one, step forward, left arm, left leg. Cross, come up. Don't forget to open your hands. And this is a common one at back belt readings. Keep this leg where it is. Move your back leg into the horse stance, bottom fist. Step forward punch, not a key eye point because it's not the last move facing that way just yet. Hook all the way around, horse stance, slide up, bottom fist again into the yoy position, grab, step forward elbow, make sure you take a full step onto that. Definitely some students before have done this type of movement, so make sure you take a full step onto that. Still not the key eye point, lift the knee up, now the key eye point, yeah. making sure your hand is this way not this way as it would be in Pinan Yondan. Little step back there with your left foot, now you need to do the turn and the jump. Your sensei is gonna be watching more for height than distance. If you can get both, fantastic, but they're definitely gonna be looking more for height. So we're just gonna turn, jump, one, land into that cross stance again, cross block, pull your hands back into your left hip, throw out there, and again, a key eye point because it's the last move facing that way. Head turn, and we've been covering this a lot on the back of prep lessons. That leg must come in. Go back out. Good long stance, hands open. Let your legs do the work rather than your back. Grab, snap back one. Still keep going down. Half step, your le right leg steps out, grab. And again, let your legs do the work rather than your back. Close, snap back. Stand and proceed your way for three, two, one. Come back to your eye, and again, three, two, one, feet together, then finish the cutter off there. So again, there's a few th tips there that I've mentioned. Wasn't aimed to go into massive amounts of detail this video, but hopefully give you a little bit more tips on what to do better and to try and give you the best marks possible for your grading. So good luck, us.